Hey guys, how you doing? And welcome back to another video. My name is Juan with Liberty Graphic Designs. And today I'm gonna show you how to make a couple of vehicle magnets so you can bring some extra revenue. So don't go anywhere, stay tuned. Okay, so another way of making some extra revenue is by making um, vehicle magnets. I'm gonna show you how to do them out of vinyl. Um, I gotta do, I have to do four sets. But for the video, I'm only gonna make one set, which is gonna be two of them, right? Put that right there. And um, again, this is just regular vinyl, this is regular um, Oracle 651 and um, there's nothing to it I mean a lot of you know how to work with uh, this type of vinyl you can even do this with a Cricut if you have a Cricut let me bring you in closer so you can see how I do mine I don't use a pick I use tweezers to pick my vinyl so most people use um, like a little pick like a tool um, to uh, remove the vinyl I use tweezers I find it easier for me. I just find it easier to uh, use twisters instead of instead of a, a pick. So a lot of people use something like this. The reason why I use tweezers is because to me it's a lot faster, especially when I gotta get into the small details, like when it comes to like letters and stuff. I almost messed that one up and this one up. I actually did mess that one up. So we're gonna fix that one because I messed up that, that T. I'm gonna have to recut that T. So see like getting inside the letters, to me it's a lot easier when I use tweezers. You don't have to use tweezers, I mean you can use, I'm gonna show you a, a quick fix for this, like for example for this T, right? So I'm gonna place it back where it's supposed to be at. I can see the knife marks, so that's what I was following. Then I'm gonna use this one, lay it right on top, and then use my knife. The reason why I'm using that one is because it's uh, the same width as the as the T, well, slightly smaller, but <laughs> that's an easy fix. Now this one right here, I think I messed this one up too. No, that one is good. Just need to lift it, fix it. So again, this is something that you can even use a Cricut. What I use on this one is I have a plotter, have a, a graph tech. Um, to cut my vinyl. But again, if you have a Cricut, if you have a silhouette, you can easily cut this with um, a Cricut or a silhouette. So the only thing I'm not gonna show you is the actual number. I don't want anybody to be calling my customer. Not that I'm afraid that I might lose my customer, but I just don't wanna I don't want to disclose that. And it's gonna be a two color. It's gonna be black and red. This is gonna go like right there. And you'll see it when it's done. Mine is a number. So now we're gonna apply the um, application tape. And I'm gonna show you a trick that is pretty uh, easy. This is how I apply uh, the application tape. So I'm gonna peel it back like this, bring it over. Okay, so and then so and then you squeegee or apply the tape you know the very beginning make sure that it's a, a, attached to in this case this uh, table right here and then you're gonna take an empty roll I'm using a piece of pipe that I got left over from I don't know what and then just push the empty roll or the pipe over like that 
and voila! You get application tape. Perfect. You get it applied in there perfectly. Now this trick, I learned it from uh, Angel when I, uh, when I went to San Diego. Angel lives in uh, Vista, California. It's about, I don't know, about an hour from San Diego. No, less than that, but he's the one that showed me that trick. I cannot use my knife on this table because I don't want to mess it up. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use the scissors. So yeah, Angel Lopez is the one that showed me that trick. Okay, so now we're gonna apply this to the actual magnets. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use some uh, application fluid. However, this is not true application fluid. What I did is, I fill up the bottle just with water to about right there. I put three drops of uh, Dawn dish soap or any dish soap, or you can also use uh, baby shampoo. And then I put um, a little bit of uh, alcohol. That's all there is in there. And then I'll show you how I apply this in there. Sometimes you'll get um, the letters that they don't want to come off. But they will, just like that. So then take this, and off camera you're not going to see it, but I'm spraying water on the vinyl itself. So I'm, you know, got it wet. And then we're going to spray, put a little more. We're going to spray the, the magnet itself. And the reason why we're applying water, or if you have the actual application fluid, is so this doesn't stick right away so that it um you have some time to play with it you know so you can position it right where it goes in this case i'm just eyeballing it if you notice it's not sticking but i do need to bring it down just a little bit just like that again if you notice how I'm able to lift it up so I can reposition the vinyl itself now this space right here that's where the name is gonna go and this space right here that's where the number is gonna go and then just apply pressure to get the, um, the liquid out in this case water and then spray the tape just a little bit. When this tape gets uh, wet, when it gets wet, it loses its tackiness. And now you can lift it up. See how fast that was? Even with it being wet. Again, when you apply water to this, see, it's not even tacky anymore. See that? But when it dries up, it'll get, it'll get um, tacky again. Now we're going to apply a little more water so we can apply the actual name. And you're going to position your name. Make sure you get the vinyl wet as well. And uh, if you notice, I'm not using any measurements right now. Usually I do have measurements. In this case, I am not. I'm just eyeballing. Just like that. Remove the tape. And I'm gonna dry up the, uh, the water. That's how you can bring an extra, I don't know, I sell this for $50 a piece, not a piece, a set. So each one of these, I sell them for 25 bucks. Um, that's how easy it is for you to, um, you know, have some extra revenue. This is it for this video. 
very simple and easy way to make some extra money but guys this is it for this video if you liked it if you find it useful give it a thumbs up guys if you haven't subscribed please do so and hit the notification bell so you get notified when i upload more videos if you guys want me to do something if you want to see something if you have questions on how we do certain things here at liberty graphic designs let me know in the comments below and i will make a video uh, showing you just that uh, we'll be making a bunch of videos in the month of uh, april it's going to be one video a day right beats and myself we're going to be making a lot of videos so there's a lot of room for different things so if you guys got want to see anything uh, let me know thank you guys it was a pleasure like always i will catch you on the next one bye bye let me finish this other one so i can go make some money <laughs> i gotta do uh what was it four sets so thank you guys See you later. Bye-bye now.